Hi, this is Becky Gromlich with the Watercolor Classroom. And for this week's Tuesday Tips, we're going to paint a snowman because it's just getting to be that time of year when snowmen are so much fun to do. This one's a commission, and it's for somebody that works at a hospital, so I've sort of tried to get a little bit of that hospital, but I'm gonna start with the sky and getting it wet. I'm gonna mix a little bit of a grayish color with this because, well, not quite that gray, but we'll just add some more blue and fix it. I'm just coming down. This will even up as it floats together. And I'm gonna go all the way down because there's gonna be snow on the ground. Now, these snowmen are called Charlie. I do Charlie the Snowman every year. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is put some shading into the snowman and I'm going to have a little bit of rust and get some gray blues so that this whole thing isn't blue and of course they'll be shading under the scarf under each button and sort of where his arm comes in and then a shadow from his arm. And in this, I'm going to put some of the colors. I'm going to take my brush, which I dried off, and bring some of that down. I might have to put that shadow back in. I dipped it, drying it again, bringing this down some more so that the shadow fades into the snowman. And then down here, we'll do the same. And this is to give him a little bit of a rounder look. I'm putting some of this rust in him partly because the building is rust. We want to also give him a rounder look on his head and a shadow under his hat. I'll have to do the shadow on the arm again. He's Now that looks really dark right now, but it, it will be fine when the rest of the painting's done. And it's too far away to read the words on it. Okay. Can I soak up a little bit of that? Okay. Now the building, I'm getting a picture out to sort of look at it. As you can see, I'm not worrying too much about having perfect columns. It's not that kind of painting. Part of the building right here is also darker. And then there's a peaked roof right there. It goes up to there, and then it's white above that. Well, my peaked roof kind of there. I think that did it. I always like to give Charlie some rosy cheeks. You want to get it fairly watered down. And his cheeks is going to have to show behind his mask this time. All right. Now we'll put some snow in, some snow drifts, some of that kind of snow. And then I need some snow here. I need some blue here. Even though I'm gonna make the snowman whiter, I still want him to show up really well. So I'm gonna put more blue there and have that possibly form a shadow. All right, when I do brown. I don't even use a brown because most of the browns are so granulating and the blue and, and rust mixed together can also be granulating but I prefer to use blue and rust. It's so easy to get from one shade of brown to another. So these trees that are in the front, let 
not going to be very dark, but they're definitely going to be darker than the ones in the back. And that probably needs just a little bit more blue, so it's a, more of a gray. And for this, I'm going to use this Hake brush, which is really nice for grasses and all kinds of things where you want to have a lot of uh, skinny lines and paint on your brush. So you can see that I, you can even start out like that instead of doing it the other way. Okay, and then as we go back, I'm going to go slightly grayer. And then I'll get lighter as I go back too. I'm not sure how many trees are in this row. So I'm just gonna put as many as I want. And see how much lighter it's getting. I think I'm ready for some red. That's the fun part in this thing. This is pyrrole red. It's very, very loud, bright. Christmassy looking red. tree wasn't dry either. I actually looked at that one and decided that's really dry. I always put some shading into that hat and I usually just use some blue to do it and I can back here. Well, I think that's going to have to wait till it's dry too. I'm going to put some in here. I do this sign. I think I want the sign to be a bit whiter than it is. I want it to stand out too. And I use bleed proof white for when I want a white white. I need to squirt it with a little water. Sometimes they dry out. And I usually put some on my palette so I have a place to use it from. Oops, I just put some on my clothes too. Now the bleed proof white, you can also just soften the edges, just like you do with paint. So I don't want it to be that sharp, so I'm rinsing my brush, uh, taking some of the water out of it, but not all of it, and just going around that edge and making it softer. And I think I'm going to put a tiny bits of red 
into this snowman. And that's a very lot of red, but it, we can always soften these edges and we can always use our trusty tissues to get these kinds of things up. And it's because that rust that I put in so that it would match the building is so dirty looking. I don't want my snowman to look dirty looking. So we'll put some reds in the snow and on the snowman. All right, and I'm, I need to wait for all of that to dry, and so I'm gonna get back to my hake brush and get some snow up in these branches. looks icy too when you do that. And I want some glow on his face. I'm just going to go over that mask for now. Getting a whole pink. He's blushing. I'll decide later whether I want that to stay blushing or not. If I might not care. All right. The next thing I want to do is is dry it so that we can finish that snowman, and then we're going to put the snow. Now I'm going to put a little more shading on the hat. Put a knot here. This is supposed to be a red cross sign. This is a very skinny little brush. It's one of my favorites. Well. Now we need our arms on this guy. And I want them to be a darker brown because there's a lot going on behind them and I do want them to show. Oh, that looks more gray. So I'll add some brown to it, some rust to it. And he is holding on to this sign. This is always tricky because the white always, the red always takes so long to dry. And so does bleed proof white take longer to dry. And so it's easy to have them running into each other.
think that we will make his mask a white mask just because of the hospital theme. I know sometimes they're light blue too, but that really wouldn't show, so we're going to go with white. Quite a petal right now, and it'll have. I want this to get a little bit lighter as it goes back. Now I'm going to use uh, put the black on for his buttons and eyes and no mouth this time and it's just easy for this paint to go all over. I don't want the black to go all over. I usually make the buttons and eyes kind of roundish. There's another hole. Now the way that I do snow is by clacking two brushes together and I usually just use one of uh, my uh, round brushes and I make my white pretty watery. I'm going to probably need more of it though. I'll have to do some of the snow after the video is over because I need that red to dry a long time before I have snow going on it. But I'll show you how it's done. Now I always practice. So here's a good place to practice. And you just hit it on another brush. And you get snow. And if it's in between these trees, I want lots of the little misty ones too. And diminish the detail. And then right up here, we need some bigger ones. Okay, let's take the tape off and see what it looks like. go. Charlie visits the hospital. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and hit the, the bell. And thank you so much for watching.